Allow me to introduce you guys to the four-way Thanos build. It's an all-around demon that is very good at dunking, dribbling, shooting, and plays insane defense too. I get gold glove, gold interceptor, and gold right stick ripper, so I will be plucking everyone. I get a 94 driving dunk with both pro and elite contact dunks. Then I get gold posterizer and gold precision dunker, but on top of that, I get hall of fame slithery and hall of fame bunny, which might be the best hall of fame badges possible. And I get more hall of fame badges too. This build shoots very very good as well with lots of silver and gold shooting badges it also gets hall of fame post fade phenom then it's also very good at dribbling with hall of fame physical handles and gold ankle breaker the four-way thanos build does it all and will completely dominate 2k24 so today i'm gonna show you guys the four-way thanos build this build can do everything. It is too OP. I get pro and elite contact dunks. I can shoot, dribble, and play defense. It does it all. And I'm going to be showing you guys four different versions of this build today. Now, before we get into it, make sure to drop a like, click that subscribe button. We're on the road to a million subs. And I absolutely love all of you who click that subscribe button. Now, you already know we want to make that. I build a lefty, hang it a lefty. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this build at six foot six and at six foot eight. Now, first off, I'm gonna show you guys the six foot eight version. Me personally, I like it a little bit better. So you want to make it six foot eight. The weight it doesn't really matter that much, but I went with 222, and then for the wingspan, you need to go with seven foot five, which is one off of the max. So this this build it is very tall and long now the most important part about this build is low-key the dunking you get a 94 driving dunk and then with a vertical of 82 you get elite contact dunks off of two pro contact dunks off of two and then pro contact dunks off of one as well look at all of these dunking badges hall of fame slithery hall of fame bunny gold posterizer the build is crazy then the standing dunk you need to at least go with a 45 so that you can do standing dunks easier now before we do everything let's do the physicals real quick we're gonna max out the stamina at 98 and then we're gonna max out the speed at 81 as well. And then for the strength, we're gonna put that to an 84 so that we get Hall of Fame physical handles. We don't have it yet because we have not upgraded our ball handle. For the ball handle, we are going to max that out as well at an 85. By putting it at an 85, you get gold ankle breaker and you can momentum, we can speed boost, do all of that. We get silver unpluckable. And then for the speed with ball, we need to put that to a 75 so that we get silver speed booster and silver hyperdrive. And this also allows you to get the Magic Johnson dribble style and some other good dribble styles too. Now, as you can see with that 84 strength, we get silver bulldozer, silver brick wall, and Hall of Fame physical handles. And the movable enforcer is another very busted badge too. Now, this version of the build right here is not going to have pass accuracy. I'm going to show you guys a separate version that has a little bit more pass accuracy for those people who care about passing. See, me mainly, I'm going to use this build for 1v1s. I can use it on the 2v2s and the 3s as well, but mainly, I'm going to dominate the 1s with this. Now, for the midi, we are going to put that up to an 80 Four. The meta with builds is to low-key put the midi up a lot higher than the three-pointer so that you get all of these great shooting badges. See, if we had a low midi and then put our three-pointer up to a 76, look, we only have bronze and a few silver shooting badges. But by putting this up to an 84, we get lots of gold and silver badges. And then with a 76 three-pointer, we get Bronze Agent 3 and Silver Corner Specialist. So this build can shoot very good. Fade away middies, shoot threes. We will put our nuts in everyone's face. And we could combo up. And it's a big 
strong virtual men and we haven't gotten to the defense yet and we're already in 88 overall for the steal we're gonna put that at a 91 you guys should know by now it is too easy to steal the ball in this game it is too easy to steal that virtual ball from anyone so if you have less than an 85 steal you are not with the meta and if you don't have a 91 steal you are definitely not with the meta it is too free all i have to do is run up to you press my square button once and the ball is mine then for the perimeter defense we're going to put that to a 75 usually i like to go with an 85 but low key we're gonna go with 75 that gives you bronze clamps you still get other bronze defensive badges but most of the time we're we're just gonna get steals then for the block we are going to put that all the way up to a 79 now if you stop it at 77 that gives you bronze anchor if you go to 68 you get bronze chase on artist now if you go up to 78 you get silver chase on artist and 79 that gives you bronze pogo stick now we're in 98 we have a tiny little bit left to upgrade we're gonna throw all of that on our post control so we can get a lot for that because why would I upgrade my three pointer by three or just like a little bit of interior defense or just a little bit of perimeter defense when I can upgrade my post control all the way to an 84 giving me gold post scoring badges so that I can bully anybody as a bailout if I get boxed up I can just go in the paint and drop step you shoot a post fade post spin you throw you out of the way that's a free bucket this build is crazy now we're gonna put that standing dunk up to a 46 and the free throw up to a 60 and the build is done we have tons of hall of fame and gold dunking badges layup badges a 94 driving dunk 84 midi we can shoot very well gold and silver shooting badges 85 ball handle and then a 91 steal and we get elite contact dunks as well this build is a demon now this is personally the 6-8 version of the build that i am going with now let me show you guys real quick the 6-8 version that has a little more pass accuracy if you guys want to tweak it to have pass accuracy if you want to use it on the twos a little bit i'm going to show you guys that version so for the pass accuracy version we're gonna put the weight to 230 instead of 222 and then we're gonna take one off the free throw one off the standing dunk and then completely remove the post control now if you up the pass accuracy all the way you can get a 64 pass accuracy now personally i don't think there's anything else you can tweak we can't tweak the driving dunk can't tweak the three-pointer or the dribbling i don't want to lower the midi because i lose a lot of back in the defense we can't really make it any worse the only thing you could do is lower the block and put the steal to an 85 if you want a lot more pass accuracy you could do this and get a 77 pass accuracy with a 78 block and that way you still get silver chased on artist you just lose all of your gold steel badges personally i don't think that's worth it so i'm gonna leave my pass accuracy at a 64 and put the steal up to a 91 so you could either go with this version right here if you want a little bit of pass accuracy or you could go with this version right here which gives you bronze needle thread or a 77 pass accuracy but you do lose your gold steel badges and pogo stick so there is a lot of options for you guys to go with me personally i'm going to go with the build with less pass accuracy because i want to be a defensive demon and i want to be a toxic post scorer see i personally just think those attributes are too broken to add 20 pass accuracy to the build instead of that now when you make the build you get shades of penny hardaway Cade cunningham and james harden and the name should say inside the arc finisher people will see this name and think you're only a masher but the build does it all now the build also works at the height six foot six if you guys want to go six foot six instead of six foot eight you only really lose anchor and then you get a little more ball handle as well so we're gonna go with a seven foot wingspan and 230 pounds now this is how i made the build at six foot six i gave it an 86 ball handle instead of 85 so that you get the kemba walker escape move 
which is the next best one behind Trey Young, which you would need a 92 ball handle to get. Then for the perimeter D, I put it at a 76, so you get 94 feet. The block is only a 68, so that you get chased on artists. And then I raised the midi from an 84 to an 86, so that you get comeback kit on Hall of Fame and gold open looks. And then with the post control being an 85 with that, you get Hall of Fame post fade phenom instead of gold, which you would get on a six foot eight. You still get the same dunking badges as well. And besides that, the only downside is having less interior defense. Now, if you do want to have a good amount of pass accuracy, you can completely remove the post control, go down two on the midi. And then for the pass accuracy, you can get 69, which gives you special delivery, dimer, relay passer, and break starter. Then if we take two off the free throw, one off of the perimeter D, you can get an 87 ball handle, which gives you silver killer combos. Now this is how you would make it at 6-6 with pass accuracy. So I showed you guys how to make this build at 6'6", six six, with and without pass accuracy, and then at 6'8" with and without pass accuracy so it's up to you which version of the build you guys want to make me personally i'm going to go with the six foot eight with no pass accuracy because that fits my play style more and i am going to dominate the 1v1 court let me know which version of the build you guys are making down below and if you're excited to go crazy with the thanos build thank you guys for watching this video make sure to follow me on twitter and on twitch my social are in the description down below make sure to subscribe drop a like on the video if you enjoyed if you're gonna make this build i love you guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next hanky banger